Welcome, high fashionistas, to So For Self with LSC. I'm Melanda, and here's where I teach you to sew high fashion garments for yourself. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this short kimono. But using these techniques, you can make it as short or as long as you want. But first, subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell. I'll give you a couple seconds. Let's begin. I decided to make a short kimono out of this uh, beautiful fabric. The fabric is folded in half, so we have four layers here. One, two, three, and four. So we have our four layers of fabric. Now I'm doing a short kimono, so that's why I didn't need that bunch of fabric. So I already drew out the body part of our kimono. So let's start at the neck of the kimono. I drew a curved line, which is three inches around for the neck. And then I took it up two inches for the back of the neck and just did a short curved line for the back of the neck. Then I came out at the shoulder five inches because I want this to be a pretty comfortable, um, pretty baggy type uh, kimono. So I did five inches here. Then from your neck to the middle of your chest you want to measure, so that gave me seven inches. So I dropped, made a line here, seven inches. And then from your, the middle of your chest to your belly button, you wanna measure there. And I dropped it down about eight, nine inches. Then from, once I first dropped it down between my chest, then since I want this kimono to be really uh, big and comfortable, I'm gonna make the whole thing about 50 inches around so I took it in 12 and a half inches because that divided by four because we have our four pieces of fabric and we have that cut in or folded in half so this is one fourth of our measurement that we're doing so I bought it in 12 and a half inches and drew a mark here and then from here you would just drop it down as long as you want to okay now to make sure it stays 12 and a half inches from your the middle of your chest down to your belly button you want to make a mark there and then you want to take it out 12 and a half inches and then just measure put your uh yardstick down and just draw a straight line all the way down as long as you want it now come back up here and then you just want to do a curved line you can use a curved roll to do this to connect the two points okay so I cut everything out and I made the measurements big enough to allow seam allowance in there now I did not cut out the neck completely I just cut out the back part through all four pieces separate the two. Now I need to cut out the front part of the neck. And now I can cut through the front part of the neck. Both pieces evenly. So draw a straight line down the center of your kimono. Then you want to draw, take your curved ruler and from the neck to the center, you wanna draw a curved line. Cause you wanna take out this point here. And you're gonna do that for both sides. You're gonna sew your shoulders together. You're gonna sew your two sides together. Okay, I have sewn my sides together. I've also cut out that curve at the neck so now I want to work on the 
sleeves. So here is our sleeve. You would fold the fabric. Here's our fold. This would be our fold line here. And here is our 10 inch armhole. And also the bottom part of the sleeve where you would sew. So this is a 12 inch wide sleeve. And then you would make it as long as you want. So right now I'm going to cut out the sleeve and sew the bottoms together. I have attached the sleeves on both sides. These strips are going to be as long as you want it. So there are two inch strips that I um, folded, ironed it down, folded on both sides to make it to a two inch trim. We're gonna trim the entire jacket with these strips. We're gonna take our strips and trim the entire jacket all the way around. Now, the other strip, same size, two inches, is going to be for the belt that goes around the jacket. So you do the same thing, the two inches. Okay, so I made them three inches on both sides. So this is actually six inches and I folded it in, folded it in a half, and then folded it again to make it a two inch belt. And this belt is extremely long because I want to double it when I wrap it around the waist. So that one is going to be for the belt. And one will be for the trim of the kimono. And that would be the end of our jacket. Trim the entire coat using that two inch trim that we made. So I trimmed the cuffs around the collar and also around the bottom. Here's our belt tied up. So this is our completed kimono. Thanks for watching Sew for Self with LSC. Like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Till next time, high fashionistas.